All right, Wednesday night, True Coin Training. And uh, here we go. What I wanted to do tonight is because we've had a few questions come up over the last couple of weeks again. And I think we've got enough new people who, and this is good for all of us to have a refresher, but I wanted to show a correlation between your true points, how your true points are earned, how those then are imported into the true coin IO site and how those are used to convert or give you your true coins. And I think it's important that we make that connection. I've never done this before. And I think it's important that we all understand that this is how we generate true coins. So this document here, maybe you have or have not seen this, but this is called a true coin crypto mining cooperative, I guess, ledger. I call it the ledger, the mining ledger. And this is available in your back office. And then also we're creating this now as a flip book. And we'll be putting this on the site so you can actually watch it as though you're looking through a magazine and flipping each page. Hopefully that'll be up this week. But it goes through and explains exactly what true coin is. And then we go into this is how our members now can earn true points and therefore have those true points converted into true coin at the close of each block. And we'll go over that in just a second. But I'm going to, going to scroll down here and show you a couple examples. Uh, I know we've talked a lot about how when you enroll in True IQ and you buy a pack, for example, you earn points for buying that pack. If you sponsor somebody into True IQ and they purchase a pack and then get on SmartShip, not only do you get points for that, you get points for their SmartShip, you get points for their, their buying a pack, and you get points for your all your activities. As a high level, here's an example of some of those ways you earn true points. So we talk about, of course, when you enroll a member, you're in true points, see the chart below. And that's this chart down here. And I'll show you that in just a second. You also, when you en enroll and activate your smart ship, and this is just again, an example, uh, 90 is a minimum requirement to remain, to remain active in true IQ. So that's why we use 90 points here. So a CBX4, a micro, a silky smooth, all of those give you 90 points every time you purchase that each month. Now, if you also, uh, and we had we have plans to where if you enroll somebody at a meeting, that's what SSB is. It's a, a sponsored a business meeting, a sponsored business meeting, which is an official meeting that is put on by True IQ. There's points for enrolling people at those meetings. Attending meetings is you get points for that. So for example, those on the call tonight, we record those. And we we pull those reports down from Zoom every week, every and on Friday. Cody actually helps me with this. We pull those reports down. And if you're on the call for more than 30 minutes of the call's duration, you get awarded points. And of course, special events. Here's an example of a farm visit. And there's a thousand points awarded for that. For example, we had the hackathon a few months ago. And those points have been uploaded into your into your true coin back office and therefore the blockchain and we have those participants who participated in the hackathon and voted and posted some things you know they got anywhere from a few thousand points to as high as 50,000 points for participating in the hackathon now why so many points for that well because we are starting in the process of now building out side of true iq and outside of true coin the hackathon was the ability for us to introduce true coin to the world and we had a lot of reach from people outside the company who didn't know anything about True IQ, call us, reach in. As a matter of fact, I'm still getting emails from individuals, I have no idea who they are, who email from time to time saying, hey, what's going on with your program? What's happening with your True Coin? Have you launched it yet? Matter of fact, I got one just this last week and I forwarded it to Dan. He said, how's your project coming? So I just forwarded it to Dan and said, hey, Dan, can you answer this gentleman and uh, tell him where we are on our project? So we award a lot of points for that because it put us out there in the world. And we wanted to reward our members who helped us build our recognition or our community outside of True IQ. So some examples. If you enroll, and I'm going to show you these, these three or four examples here because it's important that you understand the concept of how your true points work and how they generate you true coin and therefore wealth in the future. So here's an example of somebody who enrolls and they enroll with SmartShip. So let's say they bought a $250, and these are maybe outdated. You know, fitness pack was $250 a while back. We rewarded that person who enrolled 300 points. 
Plus, when their smart ship ran that first month, they got their 90 points for their smart ship. So here's an example of somebody who earned 390 points just for being in true IQ. Okay. Example two is if you enroll yourself in a 90, a 90 point product, you get your 90 points and something we never really talk about for every personally enrolled person you bring into, we call them preferred customers into true IQ. That's another way you earn points. So if you did that with three people in your own, that's a four, 540 points. And I'm going to go a little, well, I won't go faster because I have to explain a couple things here. Down here, um, now we're showing a member who's actually a builder. So if you come in and you enroll in True IQ, and let's say you enroll three people, is this example here. Okay, so you've got three members who they come in and they also set up their smart ships. Okay, so now you have three people who have smart ships, and we have something called a leg multiplier. So for however many enrollment legs or individual personally enrolled people you bring into the company, that's called one leg. You bring in someone else and put them first line to you, that's the second leg, third leg, and so on. So every time you enroll somebody, you start building a what we call a leg. For each leg that you build out, we go down six levels and say, and look at, the system looks at how many people have enrolled in each of those legs going down to six levels. So in this example here, this person here has enrolled three people, and each of those individuals have also enrolled in SmartShip. So therefore, you have, you've got three people in one leg, okay, in this example here. So you've, you've enrolled one person, and that person's enrolled somebody, that person's enrolled somebody, so now you have three people down in one leg. So the multiplier is times one, because you have one leg. You have three times one times 90 for each of those people. So if you look down here at the multipliers, you have three members all on SmartShip in one leg, that's your multiplier, times 90, your own personally enrolled uh, SmartShip. And that's 270 points if you do the math there. Here's the example right here. Now you got somebody into building multiple legs. In this example here, we have, you've come in and you've got your preferred customer volume, 450, but you've also got your three preferred customers. And now you've got three legs. Leg one, you've got three members, okay? Leg two, right here, you've got five members, each on SmartShip. Leg three, you've got two members. So it's kind of broken up a little bit. So now what we do is we say we have a total of 10 members. And let's just assume that each one's on 90 points SmartShip. And because you have three legs, we multiply those numbers by 1.2. So your first leg is just one. Your second leg is one time is 1.1. Your third leg is 1.2. Now, that may sound complicated, but what that just means is based on the people you've enrolled, 10 members with 90 points, you now have 10 times 1.2 times 450. That's all the volume from those people in your smart ship who have smart ship in your downlines. So that now you can see the difference. You've built legs and you have more people. That's now 5,400 points. Now you can see that multiplier of not only multiplying the number of people you have, but the number of legs you have. Now re we reward that because we're rewarding you for building a team in True IQ. That's where the real growth in True IQ comes from. Not only, not only for you in, in weekly and monthly commissions, that's going to build your monthly commissions, but we wanted to reward that activity for those who are helping us build True IQ. And the reason we're doing that again, we go back again to the very beginning of why True Coin has purpose. True Coin has an intrinsic value because it's tied to this activity right here. The activity of you building a team, the activity of you coming to meetings, the activity of you coming to the farm, all of that builds value in a company called True IQ, your company. OK, it's you're building this value. You're generating these points. These points then give you coin. And because this is a, is a circular uh, transactional animal that just keeps going and building and building and growing, we're growing. It's going to keep building the value intrinsically in the coin as we build value in true IQ. OK, it's important you understand that connection now. We talked last week about transparency and how our coin, you know, we talked again, I'm not going to talk about FTX and the FTT coin and that whole debacle, but we talked about how, you know, 
them, Alameda, and there's been others. There's, there's Mount Gox. There's, I mean, it goes back years. I could name you half a dozen off the top of my head scams and or very poorly planned cryptocurrency programs that were nothing more than either poorly planned, didn't have a purpose, or were completely pyramid schemes. And sadly to say, that's what most of the crypto programs out, out there are doing right now. And I'm not going to get into that mechanism, how they're doing it, but they're leveraging the value of the coin based on nothing. And, and then, of course, they give you interest returns and you can buy their token and that token goes into building the value of their coin. It's this circular thing of nothing but a, a, a house built on sand, a house of cards that you just blow on. The whole thing falls over. That's what many of those coins are out there. As a matter of fact, I read a report just this week, and I think through a coin deco. CoinDex, CoinGecko, one of them, did a study. They said that since the inception, I believe it's over 70, 75% of all cryptocurrency that has been created, over 75% of it has failed. And their definition of failed is that it's failed to that for that coin to go anywhere, to have any real value, any intrinsic value, any purpose behind it. Over 75% of all the coins have failed in their mind. Now, they, they may still be out there. They may still be listed, but they're like Shiba Inu coin, which still sits there at 0. 0.00001234, whatever it is. I mean, it's never going to go anywhere except for those who try to pump it and try to get you to buy it so they can then sell all their coin and make a few million dollars and they disappear. Um, my favorite one was a coin that came out uh, beginning of last year called FJB coin. Most of you probably not even heard about it. It was, it was big overseas, F Joe Biden coin. <laughs> it came out at 0. 0.00 whatever, and it went up to like three or four or five cents. And then the guy who put it out, because there was during the election, it got to be a popular coin. Boom. He sold all his coin. Now it's back down to nothing. But FJB coin is still out there. If you look for it on some of the exchanges, you'll find it. But uh, I got a kick out of that coin. Um, just for fun, I bought a few hundred dollars worth just to see what it would do. <laughs> and sure enough, it crashed after the first 30 or 40 days and never came back. But that's an example of most of your, your altcoins out there. Okay, let's get back now to what I'm showing this to you for. And that is, we we take these points now, okay? Let me scroll down. Oh, oh, here's the other thing. If you, and okay, first order bonus points, we have that as another way you earn points. So you enroll somebody. The person who buys the pack, let's say they buy the, we have the, you know, the builder's pack, the $950 pack, whatever we're calling that nowadays, you receive a, they receive a thousand points for that. You as the sponsor receive 2000 points for that. So all the activity that's going on in true IQ is converted. Most of the activity is converted into points for you as miners. We call you miners in true coin as miners in true coin. Okay. This document goes through all this explanation. So I know I kind of went fast there and I kind of stumbled a little bit, but that's explained in this documentation. Here's your leg multiplier, how that works. Power up program, something we haven't even launched yet. And of course, here's the true coin site. This is all in this documentation, how the coins are dispersed. This is an actual uh, screenshot of our, our decks that we're working on, which we keep talking about, but it is, it is being worked on. We're getting closer. Uh, we're playing around with it. Uh, and then we talk about... Uh, True coin. I've got to update some of these images, but this will be out there this later this week on the website. Okay, now let's jump over to True Coin. We talked about those points. This is our True Coin site. Now again, we keep these sites separate because True Coin is a decentralized autonomous organization, and that means it is controlled by you, by our stakeholders in True Coin. And I'm not going to go into the details of that right now, but you all, based on the number of coins you have are a stakeholder in TrueCoin. And when we start doing voting and putting things out there like that, you will all have a say on what we do at TrueCoin, okay? That's a whole nother discussion we never had. It's important that that we, we at least, I at least mentioned that TrueCoin is a decentralized coin. We're trying to keep it a decentralized coin the best we can. Now, governance is gonna change. You know, there's gonna be a lot of new regulation coming out here. I believe, begin, I believe the beginning of two, you know, 2023, because of the the, the the debacle of FTX and FTT coin, Alameda, they're going to come after crypto again. There's going to be more regulation. Um, but in essence, you guys, that's actually, in my opinion, I hate to see it, but it's kind of a good thing because 
most of your industrial or your your financial institutions that have jumped out of crypto have jumped out of crypto because it is so risky. It is so up and down. There are a lot of good projects out there like TrueCoin, um, you know, uh, Ethereum, another good project. Uh, there's a bunch of good projects out there that are going to be around and they're going to have better regulation around those coins. And what's that going to mean? It means that your big institutional investors, banks, uh, trading firms, they will come back into crypto again and they'll come back in a landslide once there's a little more regulation around cryptocurrency. That's my belief. Um, but it's important that we keep playing both sides of the China wall is what they call it from an accounting standpoint. We'll keep TrueCoin decentralized. So if we can keep taking you know, advantage of all those benefits, which is, hey, your points aren't taxable. Your TrueCoin is not taxable because it's sitting in a decentralized environment until you cash it out and do something with it. Then you better report it. But right now it's it's all untaxable because it's decentralized. Those are the rules right now. There's no regulations that stipulate that it is. But we also know that TrueIQ is a U.S.-based company. We're not going away. We're not going to shut down everything and go to the Bahamas. I'm sorry, Jason and I, all the founders live here in the States. We have family here. And, and basically, we are not going to take advantage. We're not going to screw our members. Bottom line, I don't know how else to put it other than that. So we're founded. We're grounded here. And TrueCoin is a U.S.-based company that follows all the rules and regulations based on corporate governance. And that's the reasoning behind we've split these two sites. So we're keeping them separate. Now, those points, as you can see here in the in the TrueCoin site, um, this is, again, our favorite member we like to talk about. And I've always got permission to show what I call him, Bill, Bob, Steve, whatever I decided to call him. Uh, I made up his name, but his, this is his actual TrueCoin site. He's been a member with us. Um, about six months into the company, so about a year and a half, a little over a year and a half now. You can see here, we're in block six. And as those who joined last week, I think I pointed out, we were around, I think we we're at 1,460 last week when we looked at this. We're uploading transactions on a daily basis. We're now up to 1,599. So as soon as we get to 2,100 transactions, we'll close block six, okay? We're in a negative size, negative five swing, which I went over last week with everybody and talked about how that's a good thing. It's a balancing of how our one of our smart contracts helps kind of keep our coin in balance with you, our miners, who get your coins for free and the exchange coin that's going to go out to the world when we launch that. OK, that's a whole nother important discussion we can have at another time. But you can see those transactions now or those points. I'll show you. This is an example of, of member 16751. Last, well, so their smart ship just ran 12 4. Last week is probably when their smart ship just ran. So we haven't uploaded that block yet of transactions into the smart contract and therefore the blockchain. But last month, you can see his transaction ran. And because that member has eight personally enrolled people, eight legs, and in those eight legs down to six levels, there are 45 people that are on smart ship. Now that's not a big organization. You guys, I, I, you know, I've been doing this business for 20 years and have met with lots of leaders in lots of companies. This is, is not really that large. So if, if you're not, if you don't have late, le you know, eight legs, 45 people, you may look at that and go, well, that's just a lot of people in network marketing and direct sales, affiliate marketing, social marketing, whatever you want to call this. That's not a lot of people, but because this individual is one of our leaders in the company, eight legs, 45 people, we take this as our multiplier, 45 times eight. We're not doing anything right now with the transaction multiplier. That's you know, saved for future promotions we're doing with our members. But right now it's 45 times eight. You can do the math however you want, times their personal smart ship equals, you take that equation right here, equals 54,000 points, okay? That was from last month's transactions in True IQ. Now I can show you, oh, we are on block six. This is only, this is all the, all the transactions that have happened right now in block six are right here. We are in our fifth month, one, two, three, four. Yeah, our fifth month, we'll probably have, we'll finish out December, probably go into January before we have enough transactions to close 
our sixth block. When that happens, points that are added up right here, this transactional point, this entire group right here is added up. Those points then go up here. They go back to statistics, my transactions, my ideas, my transactions. Oh, sorry, my statistics. If I click on my statistics for this member, you all have this exact same back end in TrueCoin. Just got to set it up. If you need help, give us a holler. So that his points, which I think totaled were no four hundred, no three hundred seventy thousand points for for those four or five months, okay, from transactions, and they also have activities. Now, if I want to see the activities, I click on my activity link right here tab, and I I scroll down here and say, well, gosh, that's a lot of points for activities. What was it? Oh, look, okay, supplemental true points. I should have pointed that out. Let's jump back over real quick to the transaction. Their last transaction for their SmartShip last month, they switched over and set up SmartShip with Q Club, Q Club Prime. So they had Q Club Prime, were one of the first members to sign up with Q Club Prime. That bumped them up to 150 points in their SmartShip on a monthly basis. That then, you add up all those points, came over here. Their transactions, if I look at the activities and say, okay, I now want to see my activities. That's where that came from. Here's the activity right here. Supplemental true points for being in the Q Club. 8,000 points. Oh, look, this person also participated in the hackathon. You know, uh, a few of you asked me a couple of weeks ago, hey, when are we going to see our hackathon points? I think, Emmy, you asked me about that. They've now been uploaded. Here are the points from the hackathon that happened two, three months ago. Sorry, it took a while to get those from the hackathon people. We had to get in and, and pull those points from all the activities that were going on, but we finally got those. And this person, I, I'm betting they voted because I think they got 10,000 points for voting, posting a few things, making comments. But that whole activity that lasted a month and a half gave them 41,000 points. So if I go back up here to my statistics on Bill's account, here's his activities. I add those points together. Okay, we're not doing anything yet with the mining position. I told you we were not doing that yet till we get the exchange launched more than likely. Right now, this member has 421,000 points and change. Okay, if I go down here to my CPP, and I won't go into the equation on how all this is, is calculated. If you want to know how that works, here's the equation right here. My points based on the number of coins that are going, that are actually being minted or can be minted based on the points we have. And those factors right now change on a daily basis because as we have more activities happen, of course, that the value of points goes down a little bit based on all the activity and transactions that are happening. The more activity, the more transactions we have, those points again go into dispersing the coin. His points right now, in essence, and simplicity, that's why we put it all out here transparently so you can see it. If we were to close the block today, this member would get an additional 8,000 true coin put into their wallet. If I go over here to their wallet and I look at it from day one, and we have mining wallet, we have Dobbs coins they've purchased, we have pre launch block, we talked about those coins. Right now, they have 8,000 points. This is how many coins they have right now in their wallet. They have 8,373 coins. We add their other 8,000 coins to this. That means that this would pretty much double. So they would go from an estimated, <clears throat> we're basing the value of TrueCoin right now, <clears throat> excuse me, on the last value it was listed on our exchange, which was $2 and I think 15 or 18 cents. Uh, if you did the math, that would equate to $15,000 right now in, in USDT if we were to convert their coin to USDT. Add another 8,000 coins. In the in the block six, when we close it, that'll jump to roughly thirty thousand dollars. Now I want that to sink in. This is a member who's doing nothing more than the the basic things we keep telling all of our members to do: get on Smartship after you enrolled and start building a team. That's what this member is doing. They're not. This is not a full time job for them. I know this individual. This is something where they attend a meeting when they can. They participate in the hackathon. I believe they came to the last farm visit. No, they didn't. They didn't even come to the last farm visit. Shame on them. They would have gotten another thousand points. But because they have a team, they're receiving a lot of true point. 
That true point is converting to coin, everybody. You, everybody on this call tonight should be taking note of this right now, understanding that this is one block. In one block or in a six month period, by the time this closes, their value of their true coin is going to double. And that's just if true coin stayed at $2 a coin. What happens when? Now, I'll use the word if because we can't promise anything and we never will. If our coin goes to $10 a coin, believe me, go look at the coins out there. Go look at the highest coins out there. There are coins out there you've never heard, of, never even heard of that are just, they're, they're crap coins. They're hovering in the $10, $20, $30, $50 range just because people are trading them, hoping they go somewhere. You guys, when the world understands what we're doing here and understands there's a real company behind what we're doing, with TrueCoin, driving the value of TrueCoin based on our activities, based on our purchasing power, this will, it will go up. I'll say that. TrueCoin will go up in value. There's no doubt in my mind. How high it goes, that's up to you. That's up to me. It's up to Jason. It's how well we do in TrueIQ. It, it's, it's up to what we do in building TrueIQ. Now, when we take the other half of the coin and put it on the exchange, I guarantee you people are going to be asking for the coin. Well, they're already asking for the coin and people will start buying it. That alone will drive the price up of true coin. And you will see this value because it's tied to an exchange. In order to be listed on the exchanges, you have to be on two separate exchanges because they cross-reference each other. And then they get you, then you get put on the coin base. And, and then coin base then lists your coin. It may not, they may not let you trade their coin there yet, but they will list it. And now you're officially out to the world. And that's the thing we're working on right now with our own exchange. We've already got two or three other exchanges who want us to be listed on their exchanges, but we're holding off till we put our coin out on our own exchange because we want you, again, to have the ability to purchase TrueCoin and then now invite some of your own members or your family, your own friends, and we'll start building our community. There's, there's reasoning behind the way we're doing this here. We didn't want to just mint a coin and throw it willy-nilly out there and hope that everybody would buy it and then watch it crash again the next week down to nothing. There's reasoning behind building marketing behind TrueCoin. And we're doing this very methodically and we're doing it very logically and we're doing it in a very sound way that helps build a, a history of value in TrueCoin. But now you kind of see how this is all related to each other, how it's all tied intricately together and why this is such a different coin than every other coin out there. You guys, <clears throat> there is nothing else out there like this right now. There are projects out there. Every project I've seen so far that's going anywhere like Ethereum, but they're all software based. And that just happened to be the industry that the crypto grew from was the software world. So now, of course, we see all these cryptocurrencies coming out and, hey, we've launched a new software platform. It's going to change the world. It's going to do this. It's going to do that. It's going to take over texting. It's going to take over banking. It's going to take over this or that. There's not been a crypto yet that I've seen that's actually tied to a physical product and, and a legitimate, I should say, crypto program that's tied to a legitimate you know, product that's you know, for sale. A real product you can use, consume, and and and... People purchase it and buy it because they want it, not just because they hope the value of that product is going to drive the coin up, but because there's a real purpose behind the product. That's what differentiates everything we're doing here with TrueCoin and every other program out there. Now, yes, this is not a get rich overnight quick scheme because it's not. This is network marketing. Okay. It takes some effort. It takes some, you know, it takes a little bit of, of discussing it with your friends and your family members and those around you. You have to explain the program to you. I have to do these training meetings on Wednesday nights. Jason has to explain to you how the products work. This is something that's taking some time to build a following, to build a legitimate solid community, community, but it's a solid program. It's not just a fly by night. And therefore, it's going to continue to be solid. It's got a foundation. It's going to continue to grow. And maybe not next month, maybe not in six months, maybe by the end of next year, our coin will be worth $10. My goal is if we do this right, is to push TrueCoin by the end of 2023 to around $100 a coin. If we did that, this member's coin would turn into a lot. And we don't have a lot of coin to sell. We're not sitting on 500 billion coins. 
2,100 million, 21 million coins. So it's going to be scarce. People are going to be looking for it because it's going up in value. Again, there's reason behind we're launching things the way we launch them. And I apologize. It's taken us a little longer to launch not only this site, but a legitimate coin, a legitimate exchange, and a swapping site. In that swapping site, we're going to have in, in due course an NFT application, which those NFTs will be by will be bound to true IQ products and in the future other products. So we are we are being very methodical and very judicious in the way we're doing this. Because look, I don't want to put years of my life and and tons of money into this thing. And Jason doesn't want to put all of his life and his money into this thing without us knowing that it's going to be here to build wealth for our families. More importantly, though, your families. Look, if we don't do this and we don't do it right and we don't do it for you, which is why we're doing this, it's a lot of fun when this is done right. Why do it at all? This has to be fun. We're having a good time. But more importantly, it has to be legitimate and it has to be a solid program. And that's all I can say. I, I can't express it any more clearly than that, you guys. I think I've hopefully I've driven it home over and over. Anyway, okay, I've gotten off on a tangent here. I'll stop now. But I'm passionate. I guess I, you're seeing my passion come out about the program we put together here in True IQ and with TrueCoin. And we are going to make this a solid, sustainable product for you and your families for the future because it's in our best interest to do so and it's in your best interest to do so. But again, I hope that made sense tonight. I hope that made sense about where true points, <laughs> where your true points are coming from, the importance of building a team because that only not just builds true IQ and, and again, builds a, even a more solid foundation in true IQ, serious products, thousands and thousands of hopefully not millions of dollars of products being sold every month. That is bolstering and solidifying the foundation of TrueCoin. Now, who do we reward for that? Not somebody out in left field that we don't know. We reward you, our members. Share this with other folks. We'll reward all of you for helping us build the foundation of what we're doing here. Pay you great commissions on a weekly, monthly basis. More importantly, though, is look to the future. Not overnight, get rich quick, but look to the future. And if we can show you how you can get yourself <clears throat> three or four, 5,000 coins, 10,000 coins. What we've talked about here tonight, again, is scratching the surface of where we've already got planned out over the next five to 10 years of this whole world of blockchain technology, Web3, cryptocurrencies, which is only a part of all this technology, but we're just scratching the surface of what we have planned here in, in uh, True IQ. Good night, so, everyone. Uh